Okay, we're now we're going to discuss another topic called Jim Crow laws. And if you do want to reference this in your book, um, they talk about the Jim Crow laws on page 560 in your book. Um, it also could be called Black Codes, Jim Crow laws, uh, or Segregation laws, because that's basically what they were. They were, they were segregation laws. Um, segregation, what's that again? It's se separation of the races, okay? Um, so what do we, why did they have Jim Crow laws, okay? Why were they? I'll tell you what they really were started for was, um, we can go back to ABV, our other uh, video that we had on um, the amendments, 13th, 14th, and 15th Amendment, and the A was abolish slavery, the B was if you were born here, you were a citizen, and V was voting rights, gave African Americans voting rights because it said if, uh, obviously if they're a citizen, they can. Um, so the V part of that gave them voting rights. Well, who didn't want the African Americans to vote? The white Southern, the Southern whites, they did not want them to vote. Why? Well, because they weren't going to vote for them, obviously. They had been their slaves before. There was no way the freedmen were going to vote for them. So they had to come up with a way to keep, now that they had the right to vote, they had to keep them from voting. So what did they do? Well, they came up with three, uh, basically two, th two things, and then the third thing was, was uh, we'll get to that in a minute. The first was a poll tax. There we go. All right. So they charged African Americans money to vote uh, because most of them were poor and couldn't afford to pay. Well, obviously, if you're going to take a choice of whether to feed your family or to pay and go vote, you're going to feed your family. So not, there were not very many uh, African Americans, freedmen, that were going to vote. The second way they kept them from voting was... A literacy test. What's a literacy test? Well, we know that literacy means you're able to read or write. So they set up a test to make African American. It was set up to fail so that they could not vote. In other words, what they did was they had to read a very difficult part of the Constitution in order to pass this literacy test to prove that they could read or write or read. And then, obviously, they, they why weren't they? Why couldn't they read? They weren't allowed to read. They'd be punished if they were caught with books or anything like that when they were on plantations, when they were slaves. So of course they couldn't read. So they wouldn't be able to pass. They wouldn't be able to vote. This keeps them from voting. There was only one problem with the literacy test. Did we not talk that there were a lot of poor whites also? Yes, there were a lot of poor whites. A lot of poor whites didn't go to school, so a lot of poor whites couldn't vote. They wanted them to be able to vote, but they didn't want the African Americans. Now we have to find a way. How can we get the poor, illiterate whites to be able to vote and not the African Americans? Well, they came up with something very ingenious. They came up with a, and I'm going the wrong way, they came up with the grandfather clause. This allowed whites to vote without taking the test because their grandfathers had been able to vote. In other words, if their grandfather voted, which of course we know uh, in 1869 was when they were given voting rights, how would, th that's the only time African Americans were able to vote, so if their grandfather couldn't vote before that, how could they have ever been able to vote? They couldn't, so now that's the way they kept them from voting. Um, all right, now we had one other way to keep them from voting, and it was violence, okay? We came up with something, or the whites also had something right here in the corner of your screen. If you look on the bottom of your screen, you'll see some very scary gentlemen right here, and those gentlemen are something called the KKK. And if we know what the KKK is, it is the Ku Klux Klan, and it was a violent group of people that would actually threaten African Americans with death. Um, it would, uh, they, they would lynch, they would burn people's homes. Uh, so that was the last way they kept uh, the freedmen from voting was by fear, okay? So that's, those are the main points, is the poll tax, is the poll tax, literacy test, grandfather clause, and of course, good old fear and violence.